It flows, folks, it really does. And I didn't invent this stuff, uh, this is straight dirt. And uh, I want you to know that it came right out of the ground. So this is the ground of all being here in this particular subject. But let's talk about illumination, go on to see a little bit more here about illumination. Uh, the, even the background of what takes place in the Bible, to remove the sandal and the uh, spit in someone's face is a legal transaction. You say, gross. What court is that in? Well, the book of Ruth. Here's Ruth and a wonderful story. You remember how she kind of uh, working with her mother-in-law, Naomi, sort of devised a little plot to get Boaz. Very modern story. And in that sense, she got her man. But one of the things that took place was when she told Boaz that uh, uh, what was happening, Boaz said, yes, I know who you are. And he said, listen, I will redeem you and I will perform the rite of levered marriage. I'll marry you, he said. But I must tell you, there's another relative that's closer than I. You don't know about it, but there's someone else who is closer than I am. And uh, uh, let me see if he wants to have the right to marry you and also, incidentally, get the property too. <laughs> this girl came with a prize. So uh, they went out to the city gate. Now the city gate was the official court. This is town hall. People pass by. There are elders sitting on this gate. There are 10 elders generally, and they are working hard. You must understand that. You'll see that in Proverbs 31 when it talks about the virtuous woman. She's up at the crack of dawn, out buying real estate, investing, back home working on cottage industry, making things she can sell. And then at night, her lamp doesn't go out. She is still busy working, but her husband, he's bushed. He's already in bed. What's he done? He is one of the elders. He's been thinking all day in the city gate, sitting there. So you can see the difference here between the two. This man works, and she, of course, has a much lighter task. I'm teasing here. Some of you don't understand it. Some are looking at me meanly. But at any rate, uh, uh, at any rate, this is that man who sat in the gate. Well, they went out to the gate, and then they said, remove your sandals. And Deuteronomy 25, verse 9 through 10, talk about that. But so do the Nuzu documents from a site over in Babylon, which records a culture about the same period of time, gives the same estimate. And in Ruth chapter 4, 7 through 8, there is this uh, trading of obligation. It says, no, I don't want to marry this girl, nor do I want to redeem the property. All right, would you please demonstrate that before the elders here? Take off your sandal, and then they have this thing, and because you won't fulfill your societal obligation, there is a ceremonial spitting in the face, and then the elders must sign and say, yes, we were witnesses. And this now belongs to Boaz. Or another passage, 1 Samuel 12, verse 2 through 5. Testify against me, there says Samuel, I'll restore to anyone anything I've taken, a bribe or a shoe. Shoe? <laughs> Why well, include a shoe? Unless it has something to do with this. Uh, so a person who doesn't uh, redeem the property and do the rights here, we would say, I suppose today, they're a heel. And uh, that's why then they have to take off this shoe. And that follows there too as well. Sorry about the puns, but that's also part of the Old Testament too as well. And you must enjoy the punishment. Uh, well, there are others here too as well.